Hey everybody, Rex Bear here with Leap Project. It is June 13th, 2016. I wanted to give you guys an update on the most recent mass shooting that took place at the Pulse nightclub in Orlando, Florida. This event, according to the media, took place from 2 a.m. to about 5 a.m. early morning. So what I find fascinating is there were still over 100 people in the club at that time, according to mainstream news. If you read the reports, there were 49 people killed and 53 people wounded. And this is all supposed to be from one gunman. That's right. This is supposed to be from one guy. Well, who is the suspect? Omar Mateen. Now, what I find interesting is, at least according to many of these mainstream news articles, the FBI investigated... Omar, back in 2013 and 2014 for possible terrorist ties. And not only that, he was a part of the global security company G4S, based in Britain. Hmm, that's quite interesting. So, first of all, I find it fascinating that people have to question the official story on the news. I mean, is it our fault that we wonder what really happened because we've been lied to for years and years and years. So when we question the official story and we're not sure what happened, does that make us the bad guy? Well, I'm reading through the comments here on the youtube.com slash clandestine time Lord channel, and I'm getting mixed reviews here. Some people say, this channel hits a new low. Have you ever heard such an insincere condolence? Shame on you. Shame on me. Well, first of all, if anybody did die, I feel extreme sorrow and grievances for anybody that loses a loved one, whether it be from a car accident, um, a medical condition, a shooting, anything. Nobody should have to lose a loved one. So sincerely, my condolences 100% if anybody lost a family member or a friend in the Orlando Pulse shooting. I mean, that's terrible. And... If it is real, let's get to the truth. Now, somebody left a comment on our channel. Uh, Richard says that he's a friend of one of the people that died named Gilberto Silva at the Pulse nightclub. So I gave him an opportunity to come on our show. I invited him on, and he said he'd be more than happy to. So I'm going to do my best to get him on here today and speak with him. If anybody that listens to this podcast has a friend or knows somebody that was either shot or killed at the Pulse nightclub, please send us an email at guestbookings at leakproject.com. We would love to speak with you. Um, I also had a comment here earlier, somebody that said they were working at one of the hospitals out there. They said that they saw people coming in after it happened. So if there is somebody that could come on with us and discuss this information, that would be greatly appreciated. We've been lied to so many times in the past. We don't know what to believe. At least I certainly don't. If the mainstream media tells me, oh, that's good for you, I think to myself, oh, is it really bad for me? And it shouldn't be that way, you guys. We should be told the truth. Now, if it's national security reasons, I can understand not telling everybody about it. But unless it's national security, why can't we know the truth? Is there something wrong with that? I'm at a loss for words here. But folks, please, if you have any information on this, video footage, like real video footage, because I've seen a lot of the stuff on Facebook and Live Leaks and YouTube where the title says video footage of the mass shootings. But all I've seen is a bunch of cops outside of the nightclub with it blocked off and people across the street saying, oh, look at that. Oh, look over there. So I haven't seen any real footage to prove to me without a shadow of a doubt that this took place. And it very well could have happened... It very well could be a mass shooting, but I'm still not convinced and I'd like to be. So let's get a hold of people that know individuals that were a part of this because the more I do research on it, it just it becomes stranger and stranger. For example, you guys know about the Boston Marathon and if you watch those videos of the explosions that go off at the Boston Marathon, they look like smoke bombs. They don't even look like real bombs to me. But hey, you know I mean? I'm a conspiracy theorist. I've been uh, huffing swamp gas for, for too long. Now, another interesting thing is all the information that was put together in such a short amount of time about this event. Like if you go to Wikipedia and you read the 51 different headlines of mainstream news articles that come out with all this information, how did they get it so quick? 
unless there was something possibly pre-planned. I don't know. Is this some type of diversion tactic from the presidential elections or was there something else that happened? I, I just I can't tell you, you guys, but I want to know the answers and I'm sure you do as well. So if you have any information, please send it to us at guest bookings at leakproject.com. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash clandestine time lord. Does anybody have information on a possibility of there being a live shooting drill in Orlando over the weekend? I read a comment by one of our listeners that said the Bilderberg group actually got together uh, from the 9th to the 12th, and that was from Sherry. I appreciate you bringing this to our attention, Sherry. The Bilderbergs had their annual meeting in Germany from June 9th to June 12th, and one of their big bullet points of discussion was the Middle East, and this could be another agenda, false flag, staged event. I don't know. Thank you, everybody, for joining us this edition. That's just a quick update. Be safe and be the change you want to see. This is Rex Bear. Have a fantastic day. Hey, everybody. Rex Bear here with Leak Project. It is June 13th, 2016. I wanted to give you guys an update on the most recent mass shooting that took place at the Pulse nightclub in Orlando, Florida. This event, according to the media, took place from 2 a.m. to about 5 a.m. early morning. So what I find fascinating is there were still over 100 people in the club at that time, according to to mainstream news. If you read the reports, there were 49 people killed and 53 people wounded. And this is all supposed to be from one gunman. That's right. This is supposed to be from one guy. Well, who is the suspect? Omar Mateen. 